greenhouse warming is changing the winds to the south of Australia and that means that Antarctica is actually stealing more of Australia's rainfall. So we can see these winds that um, blow from the west and circle all the way around Antarctica and some years they're drawn in closer towards the Antarctic continent and that means that less storms come up and hit Australia. I study past climates as a way to understand the climate changes that we're seeing now. I've been working particularly looking at the winds going around the Southern Ocean and how they're changing with rising greenhouse gas levels. So this is the first study that's drawn in the really important records from Antarctica and that's what's let us get this new picture of how the, those winds have changed over time. We used ice cores and tree rings to build up a picture of how the westerly winds have changed over the last 1,000 years. One of the real breakthroughs in this research came from an ice core that we collected from the Antarctic Peninsula. So this is the part of Antarctica that juts out right into the path of those westerly winds and it really provided the missing piece of the puzzle for understanding how those winds have changed through time. Antarctica really bucks the trend of the rest of the continents. So whereas everywhere else on the Earth has been warming over the last century, Antarctica doesn't show that trend yet and we can explain that by the stronger winds tying the cold air closer to Antarctica. So it's not the same story all, the, all across Antarctica. On the Antarctic Peninsula, we actually see uh, quite marked warming. And with that warming, there's been an increase in summer ice melt and the loss of ice shelves and glaciers. All of the latest climate models predict that as greenhouse gases continue to rise this century, we can expect the westerly winds to draw even closer to Antarctica. That's really not good news for Australia's rainfall. It means that as greenhouse gases continue to rise, we're likely to get less of those storms being chased up into Australia and the rainfall will decline.